Hello everyone. In the previous class, we studied integers and their addition. Today, we are going to study properties of addition and subtraction of integers. We have learned the sum of two whole numbers is always a whole number. Same way, when you add two integers, the sum is always an integer itself. Or when you subtract a whole integer, when you subtract an integer from another integer, the result that you get is another integer. And that property is called by the name closure property. So the first property of addition and subtraction of integers, that is the closure property. The first property, closure property. That is, when you add two integers or when you subtract two integers, the result is also another integer. Example, I can give you minus 3 is an integer. When you add minus 3 with minus 5, we get minus 8. Minus 3 is an integer, minus 5 is another integer and the sum that you get minus 8 is an integer. Okay. Now, subtraction C, 8 is an integer from 8. If you subtract 5, we get the answer 3. 8 is an integer, 5 is an integer and 3 is also another integer. So, we can say that integers are closed under addition and subtraction. So, the first property, closure property. The second property is called commutative property. Commutative property. We can see what is commutative property. Let me give you an example. 3 plus 2 is 5. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Now, I am going to change the order. 2 plus 3. What is 2 plus 3? Again, it's 5. Here, first I have written 3, then 2. We got the answer 5. When I change the order, I written 2 first and then 3. Again, the answer is 5. That means, in addition of integers, the integers can be added in any order. So, answer remains the same. So, 3 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 3. That is equal to 5. That is called commutative property. In general, we can write if A and B are two integers. And if you add A plus B, the result will be same as that of B plus A. A plus B is equal to B plus A. This is called Commutative property. In case of subtraction C, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. What about 3 minus 5? We got minus 2. In case of subtraction, commutative property is not applicable. That means integers are not commutative under subtraction. They are commutative under addition. Then the third property, associative property. What is associative property? If there are more than two integers, the integers can be grouped in any order and can be added. The answer remains the same. One example I can give you, 2 plus 3 plus 5. There are 3 integers here. First, I am going to group 3 and 5. 2 plus 3 plus 5. See what answer you get? 2 plus 8, that's equal to 10. Now, the same integer I am going to group in different way. First, let me group 2 and 3, then 5. We got 5 plus 5, that's equal to 10. That means, in case of addition, 
The integers can be grouped in any order. The answer remains the same. So this property is called associative property. So integers are associative under addition but not associative under subtraction. In general we can write if three integers a, b and c then a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. So three properties is that clear? First one closure property, second one commutative property and the third associative property. Now one more property we can see that is additive identity. What is it? Additive identity. We can see what is additive identity. We know that in case of addition, if you add 0 to any integer, the answer remains the same. That means when you add 0 to any integer, the answer remains the same or in the integer will be the same. For example, minus 3 is an integer. I am going to add 0 to minus 3. So we get minus 3 itself. Same way, if you subtract 0 from any integer, we get the same integer. And this property is called additive identity. Additive identity. And which is additive identity? That is 0. When you add 0 to any integer or when you subtract 0 from any integer, the answer will be the same integer and that is called additive identity. So these are the four properties of addition and subtraction. Which are the first one, closure property. When you add two integers or when you subtract one integer from another, the result that you get is another integer. Second property, commutative property. Integers can be added in any order. So that is called commutative property. Then third one, associative property. If more than two integers are given, they can be grouped in any order and can be added. The result will be the same. And the last property, it is additive identity. If you add 0 to any integer, the result will be the same integer. And that is why 0 is called additive. 0 is the additive identity. These are the four properties of addition and subtraction of integers. Then. Now we can see some exercise questions. That is from your textbook, exercise 1.2. I hope all are having the textbook. In Lego, I am going to dictate the questions or some questions I will write it here also. You can copy it and solve the questions there. Take exercise 1.2. Exercise 1.2. The first question in that, we can see what is the first question. Write down a pair of integers whose sum is minus 7. That is, write down a pair of integers whose sum is minus 7. That means you have to find out two integers. When you add these two integers, the answer that you get will be minus 7. Find out such two integers. Whose sum is minus 7. This is the first question. That means same sign. For example, minus 5, if you add with minus 2. What answer you get? You get minus 7. Otherwise, if you add minus 10 with plus 3, then also we get minus 7. So, two pairs. Which are the two pairs? Either you will write minus 5, minus 2, or you can write Another two pairs I have given, minus 10 under 3. 
So these are the two values. So any one you can write either minus 10 to 3 or minus 5 minus 2. Now the second question in that only that is B. The difference is minus 10. Difference is minus 10. Find out two integers. When you subtract, you get the answer minus 10. Find out that. See, I am going to write one example. Minus 7. One integer. When you add minus 7. 3. When you, sorry, difference, it is subtraction. When you subtract 3 from minus 7, what answer you are going to get? Minus 7 plus minus 3. The answer you get minus 10. Is that clear? So here, rule of subtraction, you have to add the opposite number. That's why I have added minus 3. Here we are subtracting plus 3. So what is the rule of subtraction? You have to add opposite of 3. What is opposite of 3? It is minus 3. So answer we get it as minus 10. Is that clear both the questions? Now see, that's the third sub-question of question 1. What's the question? The sum is 0. I think we all have copied this. Then, then see, I can write whose sum is 0. See, that is sum is 0. When you get 0 as the answer, in 6 standard you must have studied in whole numbers also. When you add 2 opposite numbers, the answer that you get, 2 opposite numbers, the answer that you get will be 0. For example, here, here also the same. When you add 2 opposite integers, the answer that you get will be 0. Same way here we can write 3 plus, which is opposite number of 3, that is minus 3. 3 plus minus 3, we get 0. So, which is the pair 3 and minus 3, that is the pair. And here, sub question B, which is the pair? Here, minus 7 and 3, that is the pair. So, here, this is the pair and here, the pair is 3 minus 3. I think it is clear. The first question of exercise 1.2. Now we can move on to the second question. Yeah. Second question. A, B and C. It's same as that of the first question. So I am giving this as your assignment. That you can do in your homework, in your book at home. And when you come to school, I will check it. So second question. There are three questions. A, B, C. I hope all are having book. Otherwise, once I will dictate it so that we can copy. Write a pair of negative integers, same way. But integers should be, both should be negative, whose difference gives you 8. Write a pair of negative integers, whose difference gives 8. Second one, write a negative integer and a positive. Here, one should be negative and one should be positive, like this. There. And but their sum is minus 5. Write a negative integer and a positive integer whose sum is net minus 5. Then see, third question in that. Write a negative integer and a positive integer. Here say negative and positive. But their difference, whose difference is minus 3. I think all three questions clear. You can do this in your notebook. And bring it when the school reopens. And third question. Is the third question in that. I will read out the question. And solve the answer. Question you will get. When I read it. You can listen to the question. But answer I will give it on the board. Third. In a quiz. Team A scored. Minus 40. 10. 0. And team B scored 10, 0, minus 1. So what is the score of team A? We can write the total score of team A. Their score is given 
minus 40, 10, 0. Then how will you find out the total score? We have to add it. That is minus 40 plus 10 plus 0. Here we can use the associative property to add minus 40 plus 10. I have taken first two integers, then plus 0. What is the answer? Minus 40 plus 10. We have already studied. If two integers have different signs, what to do? Subtract the smaller integer from the bigger one and give the sign of the bigger integer. Here 40 minus 10 will give you 30 and the sign of the bigger integer it is minus. Minus 30 plus 0 will give you minus 30. Got the answer? Same way find out the total score of team B. That's equal to 10 plus 0 plus minus 40. Here also 10 plus 0 plus minus 40. Associative property. 10 plus 0 you know that it's 10 plus minus 40 will give you minus 30. So here we can see associative property also followed. And now see what about the score of both the teams. Team A and Team B scored the same points. So what's the question here? Which team scored more? Both the teams have the same score. There. Can we say that we can add integers in any order? Here we have added the integers in any order, not the same order. So we can say yes. Integers can be added in any order. Integers can be added in any order. So, this is the answer for question 3. Is that clear? Understood this? First, you will add the score or the points scored by team A. Then the points scored by team B. Then compare it. Which one is greater or which one is smaller? Here we got both the score the same. That's why we are written. Both the teams have the same score. Then, what's the next question? Whether they can be added in any order? Yes, we have added in different order. So, we can write, yes, integers can be added in any order. Now, one more question there in that exercise. That is question 4. That's a fill in the blanks question that you can solve that using the property that you can write the answer in your notebook from your textbook is that clear copy the question from your textbook and write the answers i think whatever i have taught you today is clear to you okay then we will continue the next topic in the next class and thank you